Hey there, friend. This is Lee Posky. Good morning to you. Well, this Sunday morning has a thought stirring in my heart that I experience a lot, and I want to share it with you. I think about this mostly on Sundays, but it's a pretty common thought that I have, and I have no doubt that others probably struggle with the same issue. Have you ever heard the phrase, you cannot unring a bell? Meaning, once something is proclaimed and once something is known, it can't be unknown. And that's how it is when you come to understand and rest in the finished work of Christ. It becomes really difficult to find an an assembly to worship with once you understand this. I couldn't even guess how many buildings of religion surround us, and I've sampled a bunch of them and visited with their leadership about what they believe and teach. And, And they deny the finished work of Christ. They really do. They'll teach you how to live better lives. They'll teach you to resist sin. They'll provide fellowship within their walls. But none of them that I've encountered first established the completed work of Christ for every saint before teaching proper behavior. In fact, most of them would probably rather you didn't come around if you're really exuberant and vocal about the completed forgiveness, completed sanctification, and completed righteousness that every born-again Christian has. Think about it. How often do you hear taught that you, dear Christian, that you're to walk in the Spirit and behave yourself as someone who is already fully forgiven of all sin? God has finished dealing with your sin forgiveness and that God has fully sanctified you and has made you fully His righteousness. Do you think the average person walking out of those buildings walk in that kind of light? And they've been going to that building for religious instruction for how long? I don't personally belong to any assembly. I'd love to have a church home. I would love it. But I've, I will never compromise what God gave me to appease religious sensibilities. I'm not going to do it. So, dear saint, if you too have found yourself in a similar situation, all I can tell you is you're not alone. I'm in the same boat as you. I think of Hebrews chapter 13, verses 12 and 13 in this situation. It says this, Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth, therefore, unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. Now, I'm not, I'm not telling any particular person what to do in your circumstance. I'm just sharing with you what I struggle with. We should always, including me and you, we should always follow the leading of the Spirit in every situation. All right. Well, I thank you for sharing some of your valuable time with me. And all glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ and no glory to us whatsoever. Bye-bye.